Hi guys, welcome back to Fantastic Me. Today we're over in Napa Valley again. Of course, as usual, I work in this area. <laughs> and um, we actually just had a great tasting over a silver oak. And it was it was great as usual. They went, it went seemed to be a little lighter. They, they're promoting more of the Alexander Valley style Cabernet Sauvignon now versus the Napa. They, they are not doing as much of the tasting on the Napa side, but it is great. Look at this view, guys. Look at this view. I don't mean to be a show off, but God. And then you look over here, and it's like not sunny at all. But anyway, you know, one thing that I wanted to touch base on and, and tell you guys about is, you know, when you come to Napa, it's about the experience. I don't know, I think I've, I've, I've said this before, but never really emphasized it. I happened to be at a place where we were having fun, uh, you know, eating lunch, and then I met a couple... And we ran into each other over a silver oak. Uh, I was just there to see a guy that I knew that gave me a tasting there one time ago. An older guy. And it was just phenomenal, guys. Um, we happened to run into each other. We had a great conversation. The experience was to die for. I mean, the experience was just, like, priceless. And, you know, when you come to Napa, you know, come, come to Napa and expect to have fun. Expect to, you know, not only have fun, but have fun. You come out here and have fun. Don't expect anything else. You know, enjoy the wine. You know, enjoy the beautiful views out here that we have. You know, of course, the weather is a little bit uh, gloomy here. But, you know, there's some areas that are really super nice. So I met this beautiful couple. We're actually going to be going doing a tasting. Uh, we got acquainted there from Lake Tahoe. And, um, you know, then there's two different kinds of uh, uh, customers. You know, there's the one that just wants to come and... And do a tasting because, you know, they want to feel important or, you know, yesterday I had a customer who actually just wanted to meet up with people for business. Didn't quite enjoy the wine. Uh, they, we talked, we had fun, but, you know, it was more focused on business than anything. They didn't buy any wine. They were sure, you know, using more of a meetup place, more to meet and more than anything else. And to be honest with you. It's kind of sad because, you know, you're here only once in a while because he said he was from somewhere, somewhere out of state. And you're here and you only you can only enjoy it for so long and you don't make the best of it. It's really sad. You miss the moment. It's like I'm enjoying the moment here with you guys. Bringing you these beautiful views. And then, you know, after that, I was like, oh, my God. Like, didn't even say bye. Here's the thing. When you go tasting, guys, you know, you expect your host to be nice to you. If he's stressful, you know, because like I went to a restaurant there, the girl seemed to be stressed. Had a conversation with her, Sophie, our R&D kitchen, and she had, um, she looked like she was stressed. And I, we had fun together, you know, I talked to her a little bit about wine and things like that. She recommended a wine that I did with my dish, and it was great. And we got acquainted, you know, young girl, uh, after this couple left. Then I met up with a couple, and we had a great, uh, great conversation. I show up at a uh, Silver Oak, and the guy's like, well, you know, we don't have any appointments. You have to do the appointment on the website. Da, da, da. And I told him I was industry. Well, you know you're only supposed to be here during the week if you're industry. You know, and that's not how I treat, treat industry. I usually cater to them. I treat everybody with respect. I'm always happy to cater to people. So it really, really is really about the experience and treating people nicely, you know, because it's always supposed to be a good experience. Wine, it's a simple thing. It's a beautiful thing. But, you know, the best, it's even better when you actually have fun. So anyway, so after the, the tasting that I went back to yesterday, the tasting that these people were nice but didn't even say bye, you know, towards the end, no gratuity, nothing, didn't even say bye. You know, that's kind of sad, you know, you, you somebody takes care of you, you don't even say bye, you're not polite enough to at least acknowledge that somebody took care of you. Uh, that's really sad, guys, you know, and that's what, that's what I'm saying. As much as you, you want respect from the server and have fun with them, um, well, you know, they expect the same from you. So, anyway, so the, we had, then I had a lady. We had a lady from Washington State who just retired and was going to be in Napa Valley for a month. And she liked the wine. The way she was enjoying her wine, we talked. And she was having such a fun fun time, you know, for, you know, into her first month or two of her retirement. Her dream was to actually, like, come to California and do Napa Valley for a whole month. And she did. And it was such a nice story. 
She, you know, everything I gave her, you know, I went far and beyond because I wanted to make her happy. Of course, like she's like every other customer. But she really enjoyed it. And the way she enjoyed it and the way we talked, we had great conversations. She didn't have anyone with her. So the only company she had was me. And I made sure that it was great. She left super happy, took a couple bottles. Nothing cheap, some really good wine. But, you know, she didn't care about the price. She was more into what she liked and everything else. And um, it made my day. You know, I told her, you made my day. And she goes, well, you, you as well. You know, it was a great experience. And that's actually what you want out of people. You want to experience that. You want to enjoy the tasting. You know, just like when you go to Las Vegas, you know, it's all about experiencing, you know, the, the slot machines, the, you know, the games or the shows, whatever. And you make the best of it, right? Without, you know, without getting carried away. It's always nice when somebody greets you the right way. You know, it's impressive to me when people are nice. I don't care how much people, how much money people bring to Napa Valley. I don't care about that. I care about what kind of a human being you are and how great of a person you are and how much fun and how much you enjoy your wine. That impresses me. Uh, as a human being, if you're kind and you can appreciate good wine and you're here to have fun and, you know, not judging. I don't judge either. I treat everybody the same. That's what really wine's about, guys. You know, great company, saving a bottle for later to have another great moment with somebody else. And that's why I love doing what I do. You know, Napa Valley is a great place to be. Uh, and I try and cater to every group the same way. You guys, welcome back to Wine Testing Me. I just wanted to round up by you. Um, it's, it was a great experience both days. Um, and, you know, love what you do. If you're working, love it. If you're touring, love it and enjoy because life's too short. Guys, if you like the content on my video, please go ahead and sign up. Otherwise, um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.